What is going on YouTube? Kshin93 here with a remastered version of my Warped Sonic tutorial. And just like the previous two tutorials that we've done that are the Twisted Sonic and the Twisted Sonic Reverse, this trick is a hybrid and it is a combination of some of the fundamentals we've already learned. And I like to can call it a fundamental hybrid, but I don't know if that's a real term. But without further ado, this is what the trick looks like. Formally written out, it is a charge, one, two to one, two, interrupted by a pass. So like that, again, interrupted by a pass. So just to keep things a little bit fresh in our minds, um, the Twisted Sonic Reverse, which is this, very similar. These tricks involve charges and passes interrupting each other, whatever. Um, the Twisted Sonic Reverse is a charge reverse interrupted by a pass. Um, but the, uh, sorry, Warped Sonic is a charge interrupted by a pass. So minor difference in whether or not it's a charge versus charge reverse in the beginning. Um, so hopefully by learning the Twisted Sonic, by learning the Twisted Sonic reverse, you kind of have an idea of what's going on here. But I understand if you don't because the Twisted Sonic and the Twisted Sonic Reverse are very easy to accidentally do when you are learning the Sonic and Sonic Reverse respectively, um, but the Warped Sonic, not so much. It's not like you can accidentally really do them while learning another trick. So uh, maybe I'll take a little bit more time to do this one than the Twisted Sonic and its Reverse, but uh, enough about that. Again, it is a charge interrupted by a pass. And again, charge one, two to one, two interrupted by a pass one, two, 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 three. So just like you would do a charge. Now, the thing is I taught the charge in the two, three finger slot because I said it's easier. Someone asked a, a good question on that video, um, which was saying, why do you recommend doing it or learning it in the two, three finger slot? And then I replied in a comment saying that um, if you look at the, your hand, the average person's hand, the middle and the ring finger are the closest in length. So just you know doing the movement is rather i don't want to say symmetrical but it just makes the balancing a little bit easier if your uh, fingers are e closer to each other in length now that being said doing a charge three four or charge three four to three four um, is more challenging because if you look at this your pinky tends to be like one joint shorter in terms of length um, compared to your ring finger so you know it definitely is doable but the whole point of that was saying that I am now teaching the warp sonic, which starts off with a charge in the one, two finger slot. So, you know, hopefully when you've mastered the charge, you've mastered it in more than just the two, three, three finger slot. You've done it in the one, two finger slot and you've done it in the three, four finger slot. Now doing the charge in the three, four finger slot doesn't benefit you with the warp sonic because you can't really pass to under your pinky just doesn't work that way so you know you can do the warp sonic uh two three to three four or you can do it from one two to two three and just for again this video's sake i'm doing it consistently one two to two three so again so that was a really long aside for that really unnecessary but i hope that helped someone at least um so start off with the pen here and i would recommend Again, because just like the Twisted Sonic and its reverse, since you have full contact with the pen at all times during this trick, it's not like the Sonic where you have to kind of let go of the pen for a little bit. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have the heavier part of the pen towards you or away from you. But again, just to in case someone's wondering, uh, it's marginally easier to have the pen closer, the heavier part closer to you, because just like the charge, it's easiest if you have the momentum kind of closer to you. So you do, again, just like the previous two tricks that we learned, uh, the revolutions count is 1.5 and you can pretty easily see that. Charge one, two to one, two is one whole revolution. And then a pass is half a revolution. And this is easiest cause it flows much like the um, Twisted Sonic and Twisted Sonic Reverse as in it's going all in one direction. Um, so it's all spinning. If you're right-handed like me, the pen is spinning clockwise. If you're left-handed, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. Um, so
So you wanted to do that charge and then just, that was really bad. I'm trying to like slow it down, but not hold on to the pen with this hand. Um, so do the charge and then when it gets to right about here, when it's almost done a full revolution, you wanna bring in this case, the ring finger in so that, that was also really bad, wow. Um, so that you can do a pass. And it flows much better when you're not trying to do it slower than real time, in real time. So that that's pretty much it for the Warp Sonic. So thanks so much for watching. You guys know what to do if you haven't already. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more of this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.